Broadcasting live from the Georgia World Congress Center. For FinTech South 2022, it's time for Atlanta Business Radio. Brought to you by Atlanta Blockchain Center. Now, here's your host. Lee Cantor here, back at FinTech South 2022. So excited to be talking to Rodrigo Dantas, who is the chair of FinTech South. Welcome, Rodrigo. Thank you. How are you, Lee? I am doing well. So excited to be back in person at FinTech South. I remember the days uh, at the stadium just across the way. Um, so it's great to see the, all these folks in person. It must be a joy for you, too, to leave the Zoom little boxes and into the real world. It, it definitely is. So you, you, we, we can see some of the happiest faces ever, <laughs> right? And, and just by walking the halls and talking to people. Yeah, I haven't shake, shaken this many hands in a long time. That's great. Yeah, it's a good feeling. So now tell us a little bit about uh, FinTech South. What's kind of the state of the union? Yeah, I, I think this year we we not only wanted to do the fintech conference, but we wanted to try to touch uh, what we believe are some of the most strategic issues uh, and 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 matters in the industry. So we, we've been been able to define the three major tracks and or pillars, if you want, uh, of themes for the conference, and uh, and being able to touch on one side all of the digital transformations related to the metaverse, the revolution of uh, the Web three, and all the opportunities that come out of that. Then the other C level conversation that's very relevant has to do with everything related to inclusion. Uh, and it comes from diversity, but it also goes to financial inclusion and how the fintechs play a role in that. And then not not forgetting the traditional discussion on, you know, disrupting or changing or, you know, molding the financial services industry through fintechs. So I think we were able to, to organize the conference around these three major themes. And it's been really high quality dialogue around all of those. So now you have the education component, obviously, in the panels and all the stuff that's going on. And then you have the uh, innovation challenges where you have the, the, you know, the startups and seeing that come together. Are you seeing the level of collaboration and cooperation between the enterprise level folks and the startup and the younger folks? Are, are, are you seeing some of that come together and seeing some of the fruits of that effort? Definitely, indeed. So, as you know, I'm, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm chairing the conference this year, but I'm a partner with, with EY. And, and, and it's interesting because we have been working a lot uh, exactly on that matter. And, and people ask me, okay, why are you working with fintech? And what's your, EY's interest in the fintech space? So, there are, there are many angles for that, but definitely one of the, the angles is, is exactly to be building that bridge. Many of our larger corporations, uh, they, they want to know more of what's going on in the fintech world. They want to know who are the, the, the cool and the most innovative ones and who are the ones that fit, better fit their strategies. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, allowing or enabling that connection to be made is definitely an important component in a conference like this one uh, is... Uh, 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 a speed dating opportunity to build right. those bridges, right? This right? is a linchpin event when it comes to that type of a bridge, right? Because this is where you have that combination of folks all in one place. That's that's very true. And, and TAG, the Technology Association of Georgia, uh, has that as an important component of its mission, right? And, right. and it's been... And it's funny, you just by looking at the banner of the sponsors here, and, and it, it, you, you see that, right? From, from the platinum level to the bronze level, you see exactly that. You know, bigger corporations up there, smaller corporations right. on other levels, but everybody wants to, wanting to be part of it. Right. right? Now, um, coming from Atlanta, where there are so many different types of industry, and FinTech is an important component of that um, economic ecosystem that we have here, some industries seem a little faster to be partnering with startups and creating kind of um, an ecosystem where they can share information, get to know each other, do deals, maybe you know, invest a little bit in smaller companies so they have a chance to see what they can be or not be, right? I'd, in the fintech world, we want to be the capital of fintech, obviously, in the U.S. and the globe. But I think we need more of that. I'm getting a lot of I'm hearing it from the folks that I'm interviewing here that a lot of the smaller folks are saying, I wish there was more from the enterprise level 
Right. Is there more that can be done in order to create that level of collaboration so that, you know, the rising tide lifts all the boats? Definitely, indeed. And and, and, I, and that's a great question, Lee, because it, it, it opens up another component. And I do think that Atlanta is uniquely, and Georgia, but uh, it's uniquely positioned to drive that uh, collaboration to uh, the next level because of the relevance of the payments industry here in this region. I, I do believe that payments uh, is the conduit through which the traditional financial services industry's borders are being redefined. Mm-hmm. And, and, and it is being redefined because this is an old industry. For, you know, definitely. Finance has been around for a minute. You definitely. Know? But now finance means so many different things that it's expanded. Like at one point, technolo- you know, being a tech firm was something. Now everybody's a tech firm. Exactly. And, and somebody earlier said, now soon everyone's going to be a fintech firm. But think about it. When when the big tech companies say that they are entering in financial services, uh, if you think of Apple, Google, Amazon, whomever, or even not only technology companies, but when companies say that they are entering financial services, they are not really stepping into right away lending. You know, they are firstly stepping into payments. Right, I'll take payments. Is that, <laughs> so so the, the payments is that conduit. And that's why I believe you know, Atlanta being the, the payments hub that, that it is and, uh, and Georgia being the payments hub that it is and having, you know, a, a more intentional focus on, on driving that transformation is where the opportunity really is. Right. It, it, it's, there has to be kind of an opening of the, the eyes and a widening of the perspective of what this fintech means and how there's different ways to touch it and the opportunity that comes with that. I definitely agree. So now how, like, what are the conversations you're having? I'm sure you're having conversations with the companies at the largest level, the largest companies here in town. Are they seeing that or are they still hesitant? Because, you know, it's a risk averse industry. I mean, it has to be in some ways. I think everybody's seeing that despite of the fact that some are saying and some are not, right? Right. (laughs) Everyone is seeing the transformation going on and to some of them, this is a, a menace to some of, of them. This is an opportunity, and uh, you know uh, everybody's seeing. And some are saying, some are not. But but definitely uh, wanting to wage in and double down on on the understanding, so that you can position yourself to be the winner of the new dynamics. Because whatever is the the recipe that brought you here is definitely not the one that will <laughs> right. take you there. And you right. have to kind of lean into this because you don't know what's next. Indeed. So. There, there are a few. There are a few things. I mean, no one knows what's next, right? But, but there's definitely some transformative elements being dropped down out there, and I do believe, you know, that that the more per- pervasive dynamics of instant payments that's starting to happen and that will happen even even further as right. Fed now is launched and enabling all the community banks and all of the 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 the, the you know the players in the ecosystem to participate in that. Uh, this will unleash a whole new number of products and applications and, and, and needs of transformation. So I think we might not know exactly what's There's some next, breadcrumbs. But there are some, exactly, there are some, some So now are you, um, like, I think there's around 400-ish fintech companies in Georgia now? Uh, yeah, around that. And are you bullish on this? Are you seeing more and more? Are the, uh, is it a combination of people coming from other areas saying, oh, I'm going to plant a flag here in, in Georgia? Or is it just some of these larger companies spinning off smaller companies and a lot of these people who are working in those um, larger entities going, hey, I'm going to do my own thing here? Uh, I, I see some of that, uh, you know, the, the spin-off from the larger. I don't think that the, that specifically is going to increase too much. I do think, though, there are two other movements that we can already feel. One, you've mentioned, you know, people or companies uh, or startups coming from other geographies to Georgia because of many reasons, right? Uh, the, the, but, uh, you know, the, the logistics, the, the, the environment, you know, and, and, and actually, you know, the, the the, the amazing work that's been done on on the talent side mm-hmm. uh, here in Georgia by my friend Tommy and, and, and some others. Uh, but definitely, you know, having the, the, the talent pool here is uh, very competitive, but maybe not as dramatically fierce as some other places. Right. That's, that's one of, of the components. Uh, but also, I believe, as, as people start to realize that, that this is and 
an important hub of transformation and can become an even more important hub for a startup environment, we, also are, we are also seeing a, 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 a flow and or a convergence of the, the venture capital firms and all of that dynamics also picking up. So I, I do believe that there's no, uh, there, there's no venture capitalist today in this country that would think of fintech without having Atlanta as an important part of its strategy. Right. I remember doing the FinTech South a few years ago, and there were uh, people from all over the world were coming in, and they were saying, oh, I'm going to a big FinTech conference in America. And they were like, oh, where's it at? New York or California? And they're like, no, it's in Atlanta. And it's like... Yeah. Uh, the, the Atlanta is a reality for that already. And, uh, and you know, I am, you might have already figured from my accent, right? I'm not, I'm not it a native. It sounds like Smyrna, right? <laughs> Is it not Smyrna? <laughs> it's almost like that. It's a little further <laughs> south, right? I, I'm originally from Brazil. Mm -hmm. I moved, uh, EY moved me here five years ago mm -hmm. because of the relevance of Atlanta for the payments industry and the fintech industry. So they, they got me, you know, from <laughs> a thousand miles south, <laughs> south right. and, and brought to this place, not New York, not San Francisco, not everywhere else. I mean, Atlanta, that was the ask. Uh, and, 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 and I think it was the right move and it's been, it's been a great journey. A great journey for you. And thank you so much for your leadership when it comes to this event. It's so important to the city. It's so important to the state. To have uh, an event like this to celebrate the work that's being done and to educate the folks that are in the community of all that can be. No, my pleasure. And thank you for the opportunity to be here. Now, if somebody wants to learn more about FinTech South, obviously they're going to learn more about what's happening here uh, currently. But if in the future they want to attend a future FinTech South, is there a central loca uh, website for FinTech South? couldn't be easier than fintechsouth.com. That's it. Well, Rodrigo, thank you again for sharing your story. You're doing important work and we appreciate you. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for the opportunity. All right, this is Lee Cantor. We'll be back in a few at Fintech South 2022. This episode has been brought to you by Atlanta Blockchain Center, the catalyst for Atlanta's emergence as the premier blockchain innovation hub globally through cultivating entrepreneurship, inclusivity, and education. To learn more, go to atlblockchaincenter.com.